people often ask us, what mole should we get checked? When is a mole bad or dangerous looking? And I'll give you a few uh, tips of advice. So we often talk about what's called the A, B, C, D, E rule for moles. So a mole that has the A, which is asymmetry, so one side doesn't look like the other, that tends to be a bit of a concerning feature. The B uh, in that acronym stands for border or border irregularity. So if it's not a crisp round mole or oval, but it's got a jaggedy border, that's something that also concerns us. The C stands for color, so color variegation, meaning it's not just one uniform color. So it might be brown and black, or it might have you know, even white or red. It's got two or three colors would be a concern. Or if it was pitch black in color would be a concern. The D stands for diameter. So moles that are generally six millimeters or larger will also concern us a bit more. E uh, stands for evolution or change. So a mole that is changing, it's become itchy or painful or bleeding, um, or it's brand new, something about it has changed, that is a concerning feature. So in and of themselves, those individual features may not be enough, but if you have two or three of those, that certainly makes us worry more and makes us want to have it assessed properly by a skin expert, a dermatologist, and we often will review that uh, with our eye and with our experience. Sometimes we'll use a special instrument called a dermatoscope to see the mole uh, clearer uh, and have a better sense whether this mole is dangerous. Generally speaking, the concern with moles is mole cancer, uh, and that would be melanoma. And melanoma is often uh, multicolored, jaggedy, um, it's often pitch black, uh, it's changing, and so it has those features that worry us. And so we want to catch that very early because melanoma is a potentially deadly cancer. It's most commonly found on the back in men. It's most commonly found on the legs in women. But really, you can have melanoma anywhere. And the factors that increase your risk for melanoma would be a family history of melanoma, uh, if you've had a lot of sun exposure, so chronic sun exposure, but more particularly sunburns, uh, and tanning salon use would increase your risk of melanoma. If you have a lot of irregular moles called dysplastic or atypical moles, or if you have more than 100 moles in general would put you at risk. Being fair skin, freckly, light-eyed, that also puts you, puts you at a higher risk for uh, mole cancer or melanoma. And uh, that's certainly something that we want to catch early. So if a mole is changing, if it, it's worrying you or your loved one or your doctor, Come have a, a dermatologist, a skin expert, take a look, and we can either reassure you, we can either remove it, biopsy it. There's a number of things that we can do, but don't leave it alone if something is changing or looks unusual.